Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be taking you with me on a typical work morning. Um, so right here you can see me writing on the labels. I am writing what I'm processing right now. So I'm on Brazilian Body Wave 24 inch. Um, I go ahead and I, you know, make sure the hair looks fine. Um, put the labels around them, put them in the bags, and I get ready to start packaging orders and processing orders. Um, during this time, I do have the computer in front of me. I'm just kind of showing you the hair right here. Um, so while I'm showing you the hair, if you do have a hair business, if you are looking for a hair vendor, uh, if you purchase in bulk, if you're a salon, if you're wanting to get started with your hair business, definitely check out my website, which is linked below in all of my videos. It's badchickhair.com. Uh, feel free to send me an email. I can go over different options that we have available, um, whether it be drop shipping or wholesale, whatever works best for your company. But right now I'm processing uh, standard orders. So these are orders that are from people that are not in drop shipping nor wholesale. Uh, these are orders that, you know, people, when they go to the website and they order hair to wear um, for themselves or for their, their family um, or for their friends, you know, this, these are the type of orders that I'm, I'm packaging right now. So I have the computer in front of me because I want to make sure that I'm looking at orders as they come in. On Shopify, uh, you are able to see a live view and uh, that just makes it so much easier. If you see a, a lot of people on your website at a certain time, then, you know, typically, uh, in my experience, you can expect at least an order. And so if you're going to the post office, you know, might as well make sure that you get everything ready and send out that day if you can. So I just wanted to take you out with me to kind of show you what I do. Again, I'm just showing you the hair up close. This is Brazilian Body Wave. And so before, um, up until this point, everything was going smooth. You know, I was getting a lot of things done. It was very, it was a very productive day. I'd already taken my children to their summer program. Um, I got my toes and my nails done. I was able to do some laundry. Uh, I just felt like today was going really, really well. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting the orders ready. You know, I'm getting everything processed. My baby kind of saw him behind me a minute ago, but he was in a good mood. I'm like, okay, today's a great day. But I didn't know that I was going to run out of ink. I completely forgot that I was low on ink. And with my printer, even when it says that I'm low on ink, sometimes I can still get lots and lots of orders out. Um, it's just the way my printer, my printer is. I've had it for years. But today it wasn't, it wasn't going. It was not working in my interest. Um, so this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can still work around uh, when you're, you're, it, uh, ink runs out or when your printer stops working or if you don't have any envelopes you still have to I don't want to say you have to but I still like to find ways to work around I like to be as efficient as I can and I want to make sure that I'm you know getting my orders processed and getting them shipped out as soon as possible so I don't want anything to prolong that process So like I said, right now, everything's going smooth. It's a smooth day, you know, just looking at the orders, getting everything packaged up. Well, not really, uh, yeah, getting everything packaged up. In a moment, I was gonna say not, not really, because in a moment, um, I'm gonna find out that I no longer have any more envelopes the size that I need. And so um, that's gonna slow me down just a little bit. So right now I'm just putting rubber bands around the orders. This just helps me keep everything organized so that I know, okay, you know, for example, say Sheila ordered 20, 22, 24, and then Brenda ordered 18, 20, 22. It just kind of keeps everything in order for me. And you don't have to do this. I'm just showing you, you know, kind of my processes. If you look back on that wall, I have a lot of different goals and different notes. So it does not look professional back there at all I apologize again it's it's um, my way of keeping keeping my my focus and keeping me on track so 
So right now, I think I figured out that I didn't have any ink in the printer. Um, and so I'm just writing, writing sticky notes on top of the orders that I put together with rubber bands, just so that I make sure that I uh, don't mix up any orders, that everyone gets exactly what they ordered. I'm very, very big on that. So everyone has their own processes and their own way of, you know, their own workarounds. Um, but this is mine. I'm just showing you another texture. This is Brazilian straight. Again, if you are interested in selling hair or if you do have a hair business, but you are, you're looking for a vendor or you're looking for other options besides purchasing in bulk, uh, we do offer drop shipping and I also offer wholesale through badchickhair.com. Again, the link is down below in the description. Send me an email or contact me on any of my social medias. I'm more than happy to help. And if you are going to write anything on like your um, hair wraps, I know some people call them hair wraps, some people call them hair labels, some people, you know, if you're going to write anything on them, make sure that you're putting them the right way so that you get to see what you wrote. Because sometimes I'll make the mistake where I wrap it in a way that you can't see what I wrote and I'll have to go back and undo it and, and do it again. So just make sure that you're, you're being cautious, um, that everything is visible for your customer so that they know the length that they're that they're pulling out so again I realized I didn't have any ink I ran out um, I also realized that I didn't have any envelopes so the hair that I wasn't able to package I went ahead and I put them uh, put the hair in the in my bag my mail bag um, I do have an envelope in there that's a sample order um, but the like I said the, the hair that I wasn't able to package I, I just stuff put in the bag. Um, so what I'm doing now is at the UPS store, I'm going to have my labels printed out and now I am headed to the post office. So the UPS store will definitely print them out, um, for a few bucks, depending on how many labels you have. So I wanted to make sure that I'm keeping the process moving. I didn't want to have to go back home and backtrack. So I'm like, we're just going to do everything while we're out. So we already got our labels. Now we're in the post office. We're going to get some envelopes because we ran out at home. I'm just getting a few at a time. My son is with me and he likes to take the envelopes from me from the table. So I just get a few at a time um, and then I go back as I need it. But what I'm doing right now is I'm just um, cutting out the labels because they print the labels on paper. So I don't have any scissors. I'm not in my office or at home. So I'm just gonna use the good old fold it, crease it method <laughs> and um, put the label on the packages. I love during, doing this during the week because um, it's really not that busy if you can go early. I love getting everything done in the morning. If I would have came back a little later during the day, I probably would have had to do this in my car, which would have taken a little bit more time just because it's, it's you know, not as comfortable. And um, I would have probably had to go back and get more supplies depending on what I needed. So this just worked out great. It was even though I ran out of ink, even though I ran out of um, envelopes, everything still worked really seamless. So yeah, same thing. I'm just packaging the, the orders. My son at this point, he's behind me. I think he was playing with one of his toys. But leave a comment below if you do uh, run a hair business or if you run any business outside of your home, when you run out of ink and you don't want to backtrack, what do you do? What are some of your workarounds? Um, I, after I left the um, post office, my goal was to go to the store and get some ink because I have to process orders tomorrow. Um, but I had a few things come up, so I wasn't able to shoot right to the store. So I'm at home now editing this video to go up tomorrow. So once I get done with this, then I'm going to shoot over to the store and get some ink so that tomorrow everything just works, you know, smooth. Everything goes really, really smooth. I did take extra business cards with me because a lot of times if you are in the post office packaging hair, a lot of people... I don't want to say a lot, but depending on the you know people that come in, some people may say, hey, what do you do? Oh, you sell hair? What's your hair business name? 
Can I get some from you? Do you have any in the car? I've gotten asked a lot of questions. So make sure that you keep business cards with you because this could be a, a way of advertising too. Um, I know it may sound crazy, but it, it could be a, a way of advertising your business because, um, you know, you're, you're showing your product in a way. I mean, you're really not showing your product, but if people come in and they see hair laid across the counter, um, if people are interested in hair extensions, then this could definitely spark some inquiries and it can definitely spark a business relationship. This was not my agenda today. <laughs> I didn't plan to run out of ink to spark any business relationships. And as you see in this video, no one came up to me um, today. But you always want to make sure that you're prepared. We've been talking about taking advantage of opportunities and looking for opportunities in everything that you do. So instead of looking at this as, oh, man, I, you know, today is a horrible day because I ran out of ink. Today is a horrible day because I don't have packing supplies. I'm going to have to do everything in the post office. You know, looking at it, op, you know, in an optimistic way and saying, you know, it's, it's still OK. We're still going to get the job done. And while I'm here, I'm going to be able to get everything out of my post office because I did not forget my post office keys uh, because of my checklist. If you have not watched my video on hair or checklist for hair businesses, then definitely check that out. It is located in my playlist for hair businesses. So yeah, I'm not gonna complain at this point. Like, like you see, I'm just steady packaging orders. I went back and I got a few more envelopes. My son likes to, you know, he likes to help. So I had him uh, carry the bag. It's empty at this point because I put all the hair on the envelopes, but he wants to carry it. And so <laughs> I'm just bending down to help him with that. All right, and now we're on our way to get in line and to mail out packages. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in my, my next video. Bye.